Hello, print fam. Welcome back to the print shop. My name is Darren. As you may have noticed, today is not a vlog. Today is a pre recorded video because I think I need to go on a vacation with my family. This video is being recorded two weeks after, or about, I think it's about two weeks after my breakdown financially, or my mental breakdown about finances. And one of the things that I didn't fully disclose as part of my anxiety is that I produce daily content for you guys, or weekday, daily weekday content. However you would say that, weekly, weekday content. Anyway, part of my stress is I don't want to disappoint you guys and not have a video for you to watch. So I decided to help ease my stress and to cover some topics that I probably normally wouldn't cover. We are going to do these intermittent videos. So today we are talking and probably a lot of the upcoming videos are going to be questions and suggestions from Kyle R from Patreon. So I put a post on my Patreon asking what some topics people wanted me to cover and Kyle made a list of many. So the first thing, the first one that we are going to cover is dream machines, organic digifold and others times where you wish you paid more for the quality machine versus jeeping out. So, we're gonna start with my my dream machines. And I don't feel that they're too unreasonable. There are really, well, there's one dream machine. And then there is a machine that I would like and there's some that I would just like better ones. So, we're gonna save the dream machine for a little bit later. But, one that I would really like that Kyle mentioned in his comment was the Morgana Digifold. Now, I don't necessarily want the Morgana. I'd be okay with the branded version of it, which I can't reach the folder. Um, Formax has a version of it. It is literally the same machine, and that is likely the one I will end up going with. I'm going to try to get Morgana and Formax in a bidding war so that I can get it lower in price or get some more perks or benefits out of it. But the reason why I want the Formax over the Morgana is the Formax would be serviced out of Las Vegas, and yeah, the Morgana. I said that right. The Morgana would be serviced out of Vegas, which is like five, six hours from here, versus the Formax would be serviced out of Salt Lake, which is 30, 45 minutes. So that's why it's a selfish thing about if I do have to have it serviced, that it's closer for that service. Now, there, what times do I wish I would have paid more for quality? Now that's one thing in most cases that I have not cheaped out on. Now the HP Print and Cut solution I love and I love the barcode system, but I didn't realize how crappy the perf job with the Suma cutters was gonna be. So if I wanted to do more perfing, I would have gone with the Graph Tech over the HP, but I do still like the HP. Now my cheap Chinese heat press that you can see right here. I am glad I got this. Let's see if I can actually move this tripod. I'm glad that I have this, but I do wish I had a better one. Now I'm not upset that I went cheap on it because I was able to pay for it with the one job that I bought it for, which is why I bought it. But I do wish that I had a nicer one because the handle, hits the brim of the hat 
and I've tried adjusting it and it still doesn't resolve it. So I do wish that I had better hat or cap press. The other one that I wish I had better of, we're gonna walk away from the light so it's not gonna be as pretty, is, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. My corner punch. Now, as you can see, it gets a lot of use. It's holding my K toner for my Uninet printer and a roll of frosted vinyl. It works and it's okay. And it was cheap. I'll link it down below. But the corners just aren't like the greatest. My customers accept it and they don't mind them but it's not like a Lasco. So I probably would have waited. I like it. I'd probably, like I'd suggest it to someone who wants one, but I would suggest trying to get a Lasco or something similar instead of that one. That is one where I definitely wish I would not have cheapened out. Now, are there any other machine? There's no real other machines that I want for the print shop other than my dream machine. And if you have a guess of what the dream machine is, leave it in the comments. I know Derek from Alvalu Designs. He knows what my dream machine is. And it is the HP Latex R1000 flatbed printer. Now the reason I want it <clears throat> is not only because you can get a white kit for it, but it does flats. So it'll do yard signs. It'll do polystyrene. It'll do foam. It'll do Lexan, it will do cardboard, it will do glass, it will do double-sided. So you can actually print like a reversed graphics. You can print a layer of white and then print a graphic on it again. So that way you could have like a two-sided graphic that you can apply to a window and you don't have to do any work. Like, Sweet. It does everything my latex does, but more. And I guess I should clarify, there is one more machine. And that would be a cutter to go along with the R1000. The one that I've tentatively looked at is the Suma, just because I like the barcode technology. I don't know if it's better with like perfing and stuff but I do I think it was like the F1216 or something so it is definitely the dream machine and I would love 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 to have one here in the shop I can't fit it in this shop because it it just wouldn't fit it's not wide enough to fit the printer but that's why the building I want to build at the backyard is the size that I've decided, the 30 by 40, because it will fit the R1000 and a flatbed cutter. So thank you, Kyle, for this suggestion. There is a link to my website where you can fill out a video topic form that if you have a suggestion for a video or if there's something specific that you want me to answer or cover in a video. You can fill it out there. You can always leave it in the comments. I do appreciate that and I answer questions there. But if there's one of these that it's like, I want a specific video. I would love to know more of what you think about this. Go fill out that form. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being here. If you do have any questions about what I do, why I do it, how I do it, etc. Leave those questions down below. 
Thank you, Cam, for editing the videos. Truly, greatly appreciate you. If you guys want to support the channel, you can do so with the links down in the description. Patreon, Amazon Affiliate, other affiliates, custom orders, all that fun stuff. Thank you so much for being here, and we'll see you in the next video. I don't know if it's a vlog or another one of these, but we'll see you in the next one. I'm trying to make sure it's daily. There's another machine that I want. I finished the video and I remembered. I don't remember what it's called though. I was close. So I really want this one. I would say almost, almost more so than the HP Latex. It is the Duplo DDC 810 spot UV coder. I think it would be so cool to have that type of embellishing capabilities here in house. It's not worth buying for, from what I understand, the cost of this machine would be the same cost of getting the R1000 and a flatbed. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that it's about $200,000. I hope I'm wrong. Maybe I'm maybe I'm thinking of like the MGI or GM the really really expensive ones. Maybe this one's only like 80. But still, let let's hold that. That's Let's see here. We will see if anyone tells us the cost of the machine. Here's an article from 2017. Tell me the MSRP. Okay, so it says the MSRP is 139 pounds. So, oh, but then the, oh, the MGI. So that's the one that I was thinking of. The MGI is 225 pounds versus the Duplo is 139 still freaking expensive and again this article was written in 2017 and it's three years from then let's change it to US dollars because I don't do pounds so it's hundred and converted is hundred eighty one thousand dollars so it's about two hundred thousand dollars dream machine thanks for watching Whoosh. huge shout out to our patrons over at patreon.com forward slash ttms